Hello, I'm Marguerite Kearns, and I'm here to tell you about my suffragist grandmother, Edna Buckman Kearns. When suffragists went to jail in 1917, Grandmother Edna picketed the White House. Edna was the National Women's Party representative on Long Island in New York State. Winning the vote took several generations of women. It's likely your grandmother, perhaps your great-grandmother, and others in your family were suffragists, too. Even if your ancestors didn't go to jail, they knew about votes for women. They marched in parades, wrote letters, made phone calls, held tea parties and meetings to get out the word. Tens of thousands of women and men across the nation forged a remarkable social revolution. Suffrage leaders like Alice Paul couldn't have done anything without grassroots support. American women sacrificed to win the vote. Most weren't famous, but they were determined, persistent, and courageous. Alice Paul depended on grassroots activists who didn't look back. They worked from outside a social system to pull off the first successful and widespread nonviolent campaign for social reform in the United States. I have one letter from Alice Paul to Grandmother Edna here, where Miss Paul says she wishes she had a Mrs. Kearns in every congressional district. For most of my life, our suffrage story has been invisible. This is changing. Now we are discovering our marvelous history because of the inspiration and courage it gives us today to make necessary change in our world. I've been finding out more about Grandmother Edna, as well as all the other suffragist grandmothers and great-grandmothers. People love hearing the story of votes for women, and they want to know more. Voting is very important. Make sure you're registered. When people realize how difficult it was and how long it took to win the franchise, they feel differently about voting today. Let's bring these suffrage stories out of the shadows and into the present day. Receive the torch from the past, hold it high, and then pass it on to the next generation, I believe you'll find, as Grandmother Edna did, that by acting together, we can turn things around.